Today's fun Airstream project, replacing the toilet. Our Airstream came with a Dometic 310 toilet. It is a round bowl. We don't like the way that it, it flushes. When you step on it, fill it with water, step off, you get a chunk every time. A little annoying. Plus, who doesn't like a brand new toilet, right? I want the toilet seat. I want the toilet seat. Let me show you a couple of the differences between the 310 and the 320. One, the elongated bowl on the new one, round bowl on the old one. When you lift the lid, you notice this is where the water comes in. On the 320, it's it's like a real toilet. Isn't it great? It's my birthday gift to me. <laughs> I'm so happy. Pretty excited about that. So I did measure. It's going to fit. There are just a few things that we need to do to swap these out. One, we will unhook the water. Connections right there. And then there's a bolt here. And a bolt on the other side. Same spot right there. Let's get to it. Okay, hair is up, so it doesn't get in the toilet or in my way. Everything in an Airstream is supposed to be standard, so we're going to use a 7 16 We'll use a screwdriver to pop the white covers off, and then we'll see what we're up against. So, down we go. He's sturdy now? Okay. We'll get these bolts off before we unhook the water, just to make sure water is turned off in here that uh, part of our, our toolkit includes paper towels because there may be some leakage so toilet has been flushed water is off cap is off stand by while I take the other side off but we'll get it don't worry okay caps are off as a note if your water was on, you were on city water, you could turn it off. There is a valve here to turn water off to the toilet. And what I've discovered is this valve's kind of in backwards. It does not turn this way to close, but it does go that way to close, which doesn't do much good here. So it will turn a little bit in there, but we're not gonna worry about it since the water's off. We had an emergency that might uh, that might come into play though. All right, handy dandy set of sixteenths. Could use a socket. I just have to have some branches here. Eventually. All right, that's out. We'll get the other side. Interesting turn of events. It seems like the bolt on the side by the pedal is crept out. It's just turning. Something's broken underneath it. So we're gonna go ahead and unhook the water and see if we can turn it enough to figure out what's going on under there. So it's coming off. We do have a little bit of water leakage coming out. Paper towel's on the way. Managed to get enough angle on the toilet that we're able to get this bolt coming off but it is fighting me every step of the way the other one was eventually able to go hand tight loosen but not this one it was just holding on Tiny turn at a time. Finally got it loose. Popped right out there, so. Whoa, that fell right out there, sir. The bolt goes on the floor, kind of bent. That's the good one. The screw that goes on it. So now, let's lift this thing up and out there. Let me get to see what it looks like under the black tank. All right, lifting it up, coming out, 
sit it right there. Look at that funness. Gross, guys, gross. It's time for the plastic gloves. And a little cleanup. You wait here. Judging from the brown stuff that's in that pipe and that was in the old toilet, this uh, this black tank has been over has overflowed a couple times. Rubber gloves and a face mask probably, and then I'm going to um, light my clothes on fire when I'm done. <laughs> okay, maybe not that, but. Got some cleanup work to do. All right, that's done. Um, hands have been washed a thousand times. Floor has been sanitized. I swore off every place some toilets again, but I know it'll happen. So now we're ready to start putting it back together. I won't give you a straight shot down the black tank. We'll kind of put you over here to show. These dealy with bobbers, technical term, do go in here. And they're supposed to hold that steady. So I don't know what happened with the one I took out, but it didn't do a great job. So these in they go. That one just isn't turning. All right, there we are. So we will sit that toilet on there. The new toilet comes with everything that you need. We don't need to buy wax seals or anything like that. I'm just going to place it on those bolts. Let's see how good I am at lining stuff up, huh? Sorry, let me get out of your way a little bit. One and there's the other one. Just like that. So now we will tighten that down. Put the washers and the nuts. A few moments later. That side went on easy, but that was the easy side before. This was the tough side. One eternity later. These are not the gloves that I used to scrub that hole out, by the way. And I think I'm done with them now that we're done with that dirty, dirty work. You'll notice that it does not sit completely on the floor, but that's okay because when you tighten those bolts down, sorry, tighten the nuts down onto the bolts on the sides, that's gonna compress that ring, and give you a nice tight seal is the plan, and then it will rest on the floor once that's done. I'm going to torque those to about 35 or 40 foot pounds. I'm not going to get a torque wrench and, and do that. Just going to guesstimate, but don't over tighten. Just make sure that that toilet is nice and firm against the floor. With the bolts tightened down, it's time to put those white caps on, hook up the water. Where are those white caps? There they are. These will just go down over the top of the bolts. Just like when we took them off at the beginning. I'll show you. Just like that. We'll hammer on a little bit once once you're out of the way so that they're nice and tight down there. All right, water's hooked up. Caps are on. Last minute clean up a little dust back here. Stand by. Bear with. Time to uh, turn on the water pump and see what we get. Fingers crossed. And because I know you want to see in the toilet, there it is. In that nice. They're nice. Works just like a toilet should. So there you go, guys. Everybody, move your hair and feel 
probably half an hour, 45 minutes start to finish. And that includes a lot of cleanup work that hopefully you don't have to do. I suppose that the poopness could have come from traveling with full black tank and having it splash up into the bowl, but it was pretty coated. It was, it was not a, it was not pretty, it was not fun, but it's done. So, um, hey, let me know if you have any questions. If you've had to do this, if you know why the inside of the other toilet was covered in brown sludge, hey, drop a line down there and let me know because I'm, I'm thinking the worst and I'm hoping there's a better explanation than that. So, um, until next time. say